here. I'm so excited today because I have a guest with me in the kitchen. This is Miss Cecily. Hello, Cecily, say hi. Hello. <laughs> so Cecily was just telling us, we were recording just now, but Wednesday wouldn't shut up, so we let her in. And she was just telling us that she uh, found me through researching Belize and rice and beans. Cecily, what's your background, by the way? My break. Well, my mom, you're talking about my... Like, your heritage? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Well, my mom's family's from England, uh -huh. and um, my dad's like Jamaican, and he's mixed with stuff. My grandpa's like Irish and black. And so that's why you're looking up rice and beans, because of the Jamaican part mm -hmm. of the heritage? Yeah, so that's how she found me. I told her, people usually find me through Fred Jack's or Belizean Creole Bread, but she found me through the rice and beans, which was pretty cool. And then there was another connection that we weren't aware of because Cecily is friends with um, my friend Lisa's daughter. Remember Lisa came to dinner um, like a month or so ago? And so uh, Cecily saw that they came here for dinner. You saw it on the vlog, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, how do you know her? And so they said, well, Lisa says, I've been friends with her since high school in Belize. And she says, well, kid, you let us meet. And it was on. She was supposed to come before Mario came, but they kept working on the schedule. You know, all the, times, all the time it's a scheduling issue, you know, when people are trying to come. So I'm very excited to have Cecily here. We're going to do something really, really simple because it's a hot day today. So we're going to do this angel food cake, angel, angel food cake, pineapple cake. I said cake twice. I don't know. It's I'll figure out a name. <laughs> so we have an audience today. We never have an audience, but we have an audience today because Lisa came back with her son and uh, her daughter Chelsea, and they're watching, and uh, we're going to have some fun. So I'm going to put you to work because okay. you're going to be working this thing. So the first thing, oh, let's go over the ingredients that we're going to need first of all. All right, guys, so we're going to need two ingredients, maybe possibly three, but I'm going to find out from Cecily when that time comes, okay? But these two for sure. Angel food cake and a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapples. That's all. Now, I got this recipe off of Facebook again, and I do believe originally it's like a Weight Watchers recipe, okay? So it's supposed to be one of the healthier cakes. So if you simply must have dessert, this would be the better option. If not, just don't have the dessert, which is hard. <laughs> it's so hard. So, Cecily, what we're going to do here is basically. Cut this open. And it works for you. <laughs> I it's dull too though. Okay. It's dull too. Plus you're left handed, so you're left brain. You okay. You're left brained. Just Aww. like jewelry. <laughs> mm -hmm. So okay. go ahead and dump this in. Dump it in like low because it's not poof. It smells good already, right? It sure does. <laughs> and this already washed for us. So I want to go ahead and get this one. I never cook with an apron, by the way, so I lose a lot of my clothes. I'll never learn. <laughs> just dump it in. Yeah, no, no rhyme or reason to it. Just okay. some people make a well. It doesn't matter. Just dump it in here, and then all you're gonna do now is stir you to make a batter. Stir or fold? It really doesn't matter. Okay. Honestly, I tried it and it comes out the same way. Then you're gonna see this little effect happen. Now while you're doing that, I'm going to grease this. Yesterday I greased and floured the pan when I did this cake, but the cake still gave me a hard time to dump out. So we're just going to leave it in the pan this time. It smells so good, it's not even cooked. It's, you smell the pineapple, yeah, it right? it smells good, I like pineapple. So you could spray oil too from a can in this thing here, okay? Okay. And right here what I'm doing is a 9 by 13 pan that I'm greasing. This is like the hardest part of doing the show. It's like a lot of fun to do, but <clears throat> a lot of the times I don't have help, so I have to run all my cameras myself. And then also these lights, they get super, super hot. Then you have the oven on, mm -hmm. and then it's like hard to like not melt mm -hmm. when it's happening. And then you'll have like a family member say, I want to come do my breakfast when you're going to be done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but see how it foamed up? Yeah, it looks good. See? So now I'm going to pander to this camera, okay. and you want to hold it away from you okay. and pour it in, only Just because you want the camera to see it. Okay. So, you got it? Hold that. I'll help you hold the bowl. Okay. Use the spatula. To like it pull, push it out. All right. So see, that's a little bit difficult because you're doing it away from you, right? Yeah. And so that's what Joe doesn't really understand when he's cooking with me. He's mm -hmm. constantly hiding from the viewers <laughs> what he's doing. Because yeah, I can't really see. I just got a whiff of it. <laughs> it smells like custard. It smells so good. Yeah. See, I can't even see in the bowl. See? I'm, just, I'm just going. You're just going. I'm going. I got okay, it. Okay, so then we'll twist it this way. 
and go from this angle now. And if you have any dry spots, just get it worked in. It won't. Some people put it in a pan and don't even put grease in the pan. I've watched a lot of videos on it, mm -hmm. but I tried it myself yesterday to test the recipe. And um, I've greased and floured the pan and it didn't make a difference. The cake still couldn't really come out. So we're going to serve it all the way. So then when you do your recipes, you, you do like trial and error, then you uh -huh. try it one way and try it the other and see what's best. Yeah, sometimes I test it on camera, like if I think it makes sense mm -hmm. that it's going to work with, I'll turn the cameras on and I'll, I'll do it on camera and sometimes I'm lucky and it comes out perfect and I don't have to tape another show. Okay. And then sometimes um, I'll have to test it two or three times and you know throw it away if it doesn't come out good and all that good stuff. So it's ready. And by the way, I didn't tell you guys, but we've had the oven preheating to 350 for quite some time now because we were sitting here chit-chatting before we got started. So what we're going to do now is put this in the oven. Do you want me to open the oven? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I have this old rusty baking sheet there because um, I don't want it to like boil over because sometimes I've heard that people's cakes boil over. So we're going to let that go for about 30 minutes, okay? So while that's baking, I'm going to make a frosting to go on top. Most people only um, squirt some um, Cool Whip or whipped cream or whatever, from, you know the one from the can? Mm -hmm. That's whipped cream, right? They, they spray that on top of the cake and that's what they eat or they put some sliced strawberries, stuff like that. But I'm going to make this wonderful little frosting to go on top and I can make it now because I can just set it in the fridge to chill. So let's get started with that. All right, so you want to tell us about your kids? Okay, yes I do. <laughs> so I have a four-year-old named Layla. Say hi to her. Hello, Layla. I love you. Hi, Layla. I'm with your mama today. She's Yay. such a big fan of the show. She you, loves it. You know what? Little kids love my show. That's why I keep it clean. Mm -hmm. Honestly, because I could cuss just like anybody else. I'm from Belize. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. All Belizeans know how to cuss. So, but I keep it clean because I know that little kids watch with their grandma and their moms and stuff like that. So what we're going to do right now is our little frosting and this is French vanilla. You can use whatever flavor you want, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna use French vanilla. And it's just one packet of Jello pudding. I don't even know if that's from Jello, because I think Jello is a brand. That's just yeah. store brand, okay? I that's like pudding. The, I like the off brand, but yeah, the pudding. Also, I didn't get to say hi to Nova. <laughs> Go ahead, say hi to who you want to say hi to, girl? Yeah, she's 11 months old. That's my baby. That's You have two daughters? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. So we're just gonna pour this in here, okay. and you're gonna whisk. You want me to start? Uh -huh. right. And she's a southpaw. Like Jory and Joe, so it's a little bit difficult for people who are left-handed to handle certain equipment like scissors and stuff like that. Justify it for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's for real. It's for when Jory was a little kid in school, like um, first grade or kindergarten, I think. The teacher had to stop everything she was doing one day and go and buy him all left-handed stuff. Special scissors. Yeah, yeah. got him a left-handed desk, got him everything oh, yeah. left-handed, and well, then then she got along with him because at first she hated him. She would scream at him. It's real. And then I went to her and I said, what's the problem? And she says, I don't scream. And she was screaming at me. And I'm like, you're screaming now. And she goes, oh, OK. And then she realized what the problem was. And after that, they were good friends. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to add to this, because this, you know, if you set this in the fridge, then it'll just firm right. up like a pudding, right? We're going to add some cool. This is in the frozen section. And you want to have this like thought out. Because okay. if you use it frozen, it's going to be really kind of hard. Sometimes I like cool whip in place of ice cream, too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, what do you like, viewers? This is I like cool it. whip. I like it. Cool whip. <laughs> the, kids, the kids laugh at me when I say the WH the quick. right way. I say quick and I say quick. white cake. Quack. Quack. White cake. Quack cake. So just kind of scoop some out like this. Okay, See how we're going to use the whole container? Yeah, the whole okay. container. So whisk away. Okay. So when you, you want me to add the rest it. in? Just, just get this as long as first. yeah, as long as you see it getting right. well incorporated. I don't want to lift the bowl so you guys can't see it. Yeah, but you can turn okay. it that way. She's learning what we do here that we have it's, to pander yeah. to the cameras. <laughs> it's nice. It feels it's really fluffy and nice. It's nice, huh? Yeah. Put some more. Yeah, a little bit more. Some more. I don't want to give a shout out to Josh that's handling all four cameras for me. Well, Chelsea and Bryn are handling that one back there, right? <laughs> Like, huh? Well, was I supposed to be running that camera? <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks good though. It smells good. It smells great. Let me get a scotch. Can you imagine if, it, like, if we wanted to put. Oh, you know what? I forgot. The third ingredient that I was going to ask you about, but it's too late now because we already put the cake in, was coconut flakes. Mm -hmm. Would you have liked that in it? I sure would. You would? Oh yeah. Shoot. It's already in there though. It would have been, it would have just it would have been nice it off, though. hit it off, those coconut flakes. So that's an idea that you guys can do. You can do coconut flakes, 
and put it in that batter and then it would be three ingredients. But the coconut flakes is not a necessary ingredient. The pineapples and the box cake are necessary, okay? So see this is done right here. Isn't this beautiful? It looks like chiffon or something. Really and I'm just gonna put it in the fridge to chill for a little while and this is basically gonna be our frosting. So what we're gonna do now is just do a clean up and then we're gonna chit chat and get to know Cecily a little bit more. All right guys, so this is one of the days when I wasn't rushing at all. We let this cake look cool completely down, okay? Because we had snow cones, we had good conversation, so we good. ate some good sourdough bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're all carved out. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is frost the cake. You wanna do the others? Okay. Just plop some in there. Um, let me not tell you because you know what? I suck at frosting cakes. I, I do too. I always tell my audience that. You make me feel good then. And I don't, <laughs> you have me shaking in my boots when you tell me to do that. I don't want you to think it's something, you know? But no, plop some more okay. and then we'll try to use this. Not that I know how to use this Okay. Now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that enough? It's not, does not look good though. Oh it's small. You know what, viewers? I hope you guys really make this. I'm gonna make it again. You know what? We great. could be the hit at a potluck with this. Yeah, it's yeah. and it was easy and quick. Uh huh. You don't have to be sweating in here. Yeah. Then do it with you, this. Okay. You want to try? It? Have fun with it because I truly suck at it. No, yesterday when I made this cake, I tried to dump it from the pan and it released from the sides even though I greased and floured it, but the center right at the bottom didn't want to come out and it just kind of like fell apart on me. So if you're doing this and you want to take it from the pan, I would put parchment paper on the bottom and grease and flour it really well and then I think that way it'll come out. If not, use one of those spring form pans that you release the sides and put um, the same parchment paper on the bottom part and then it'll come, but then it'll be a round cake and this cake is too dense. To be um, to cut in slices like that. You want like yeah, squares sure. like that when you cut it. Put the whole thing. Okay, let me add some more. We're we'll running a little thin on the no, corner over here. Uh -huh. right. Just, Just plop it. it Just plop, plop it. it. Doesn't it look good though? It smells so good. <laughs> I, I, she's she's talking. It smells good. It smells good. I love pineapple. Watch when you taste this though. My fiance loves pineapple too. It's really good. And you know, because you've come once, Cecily, mm -hmm. you can come back again, you know. I would love It's not to just come one back. and you tie it off and it's done. Yeah, I would love to come and back. And then we'll do something like more involved. Okay. You had to see what I was about first. We had to test the water. Well, no. <laughs> if it was like on the weekend, I would have done a more involved mm -hmm. um, recipe because then I have a lot of camera people on hand. Mm -hmm. But because it's only us here and I wasn't even sure Josh would be here today, I decided to do something get easy. Yeah. You want to get the rest with that? Yeah, I'll, we'll have to come back and we can just, I want to do a full-on. It's, it's okay to leave a little bit in here because then we okay. only cut the sides of the cake. Okay. Alright, so this cake, it crumbles pretty easily. So I'm just going to cut it with this spatula here. And when I'm doing the show, I always get pretty plates to do um, my thumbnail. So the smaller the plate, the better. It looks for the thumbnail. So this is what we're going to do. The first one might not be the good one for the thumbnail. But that's yours. If you want to grab a fork. Okay, where are the forks? Cecily's going to taste while I try to get out a good piece. Let's see, I see some pineapple chunks right there. Did you, re did you really get, get on this? Can you guys see this? Because it's great. It's, oh man. Here she's, we go. She's a natural. I think she's trying to take my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You're really good at being a guest. Thank you. I've had some really awesome guests. It tastes just as great as it smells. Okay, so you guys see this? This is what I'm going to take outside in the beautiful sunlight now and take for my thumbnail. And that's how I have to do it. And then by the time I come back, it's gone because everybody ate. Mm. That's what they do to me. So, <laughs> so now all we're going to do... Oh, let me, let me get a piece for me so I can taste it too. It's amazing how the pineapple really flapped up the angel food cake mix. Uh-huh. It's so like, spongy and good. What do you think about the frosting? You think you like this better than if we just put cool oh, yeah. or whipped cream? Oh yeah, it has a little hint of a little flavor. I'm thinking the next time around, what I'll do is I'll put the coconut flakes inside the cake and I'll get another can of crushed pineapples and put it inside the mm -hmm. frosting. What do you think? You think that's too much? Mm -hmm. No? I mm -hmm. say go for it. Mm -hmm. Delicious. That's what this tastes good. You should try this. No, I'm trying not to do that. Josh doesn't like fruit with cake. Mm -hmm. He likes cake, but not fruit with cake. It doesn't go together. <laughs> it smells real good, so I'm tempted to try it. All right, guys. So I'm so glad that Cecily was able to come and just spend a wonderful afternoon with us. 
You know, when you guys get invited to come be a guest on the show, this is how it goes. You, I, I always say it's going to be an hour, and it turns out to be three and four hours because my house is the kind of house that nobody wants to leave, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my first time, and I feel so welcome. Yeah, we had a really, really fun time, and some of the stuff recorded for the vlog, so check the vlog, okay? Thanks always for watching the show. Please share it with your friends and family for me. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And thank you so much for picking up the books. I don't know. Until we see you again, take care. Bye. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please check out my other channels, the Product Review channel, my family vlogs, and Joe's channel. You can find all the links in the description box below.